Steve was hard at work on his new irrigation system for his wheat farm when he saw familiar faces in the distance. Steve! Lucy called out as she sprinted across the field toward him. His friends Henry and Max raced behind Lucy. I didn't know you guys were in town, Steve said. He was happy to see his old friends. We aren't staying, Henry told Steve. We just came to pick you up and take you on a treasure hunt. That's nice of you, but I think I'd like to stick around the farm. I'm working on a new irrigation system. My crops aren't growing, and I think they need more water. Steve stood by a patch of carrots that were in desperate need of irrigation. That can wait, demanded Lucy. We heard about a magical mountain that contains endless diamonds, and we want you to come find it with us. How do you know it even exists? questioned Steve. We don't, but we're going to find out, replied Henry. I don't think I'm going to leave my farm to travel through the overworld in hopes of finding a mountain that you aren't even sure exists. Steve was annoyed. But you have to come with us, pleaded Lucy. You're so resourceful and such a skilled fighter. You have Max. He's the fighter. Steve went back to working on his irrigation system. Max walked over to Steve and showed him a map. Look, this adventure map has the mountain on it. According to the map, the mountain is past the jungle and by the ocean biome. We've traveled through all of those biomes before, and we know how to survive in them. This is a no-brainer. We have to make this trip. How did you get that map? asked Steve. We were treasure hunting when we stumbled upon a group of explorers. We wound up mining with them, and one of the explorers started to talk about the mountain. Apparently, they had been there, and it was amazing. It has countless diamonds. Lucy was so excited, she rushed the words out in one breath. And they gave you the map? Steve was curious. After being attacked by griefers in the past, he didn't trust anybody not in his circle of friends. How did his friends know this wasn't a trick? that a griefer gave them a fake map, leading them to a trap. Well, they didn't give it to us. Max fumbled with his words. Did you steal it? Steve couldn't believe his ears. These were his good friends, and he knew they weren't thieves. Let's just say we borrowed it, Henry said and smiled. You stole it, Steve raised his voice. How could you do something like that? It's not as bad as you think, explained Lucy. They dropped it when they were destroyed by a creeper. We escaped, but I was able to pick up the map. But this isn't our map, said Steve. Lucy defended herself. I do want to find them and give the map back. Yes, we just want to do it after we get the diamonds, Henry said as he looked over Max's shoulder and studied the map. And the group had already been to the mountain and mined for diamonds. They were only keeping the map so they could return when they needed more, Lucy told Steve. Steve wasn't sure what to make of his friend's proposal. He needed to work on his irrigation system, but he also wanted to go on an adventure with his friends. Steve's one serious issue with the trip was he didn't trust the map. Are you sure they didn't drop it on purpose? Maybe they wanted you to take it, and once we get to the mountain, they'll trap us. Maybe your new friends are griefers, Steve guessed. Well, there's only one way to find out, said Max. If it is a trap, we can fight the evil griefers and save others from the same fate, Lucy reasoned with Steve. She knew that he loved to stop griefers from terrorizing innocent people. The sun was setting. Steve looked at his friends and warned. We need to get back to my house before hostile mobs start spawning. The gang heard a shrill scream coming from his neighbor Kira's house. Oh no, it sounds like Kira's being attacked. We have to help her, Steve shouted to his friends. They sprinted toward Kira's house. As they approached the house, they could see through the window that Kira was battling four zombies with her diamond sword, while more vacant-eyed zombies lumbered toward her. Help! Kira screamed as she destroyed two zombies with her sword. Max shot an arrow at a zombie. The others charged at the undead creatures, striking them with their swords.